Welcome to the podcast, voted one of the best in the marketing research industry in 2019 and 2020. This is Research Business Daily Report. We're known as the only daily research news video report. And we do rely on viewer support, so you can pitch in if you'd like by contributing at patreon.com slash rbdr. More about that later. I'm Bob Letterer in my 2060 year as the respected voice in market research. Customer experience futurist Blake Morgan recently interviewed the creator of Net Promoter Score, Fred Reichelt. This conversation and the content is especially interesting to me and hopefully to you because in spite of NPS's extremely broad customer use across the American corporate base as an experience metric, it has drawn out a list of researchers who dispute its lack of acceptability as a standalone predictor. In fact, we presented one of them, Michaelis Michael, here just a few weeks ago. As a refresher of the role that NPS plays, well, it asks on behalf of a company one single supposedly simple question of customers after their interaction with a brand or the company. And the question is, how likely are you on a scale of 1 to 10 to recommend the brand or company to family or friends? Taking on NPS's critics, Reichel told Morgan that, quote, in our modern world, too many companies are sloppy about how they ask the question. And he inferred that the problems include asking the NPS query at inopportune times, asking it too frequently, and applying it as a relationship question to grade employees. Another NPS weak spot is one we have all dealt with. We shop and regularly receive a short survey following the purchase that seek our insight about the experience we've just had. Reichheld asserted that, quote, many companies reach out to a customer after a contact center interaction, and they ask the question with the strong implication that the service rep will get in trouble if they don't receive a perfect score. And on a personal level, on occasion, I've had a company salesperson that have just made a purchase tell me about a survey that was going to come as a follow-up and request that I provide excellent responses across the board. Sometimes I actually tell them, you're not supposed to do that, meaning don't tell me to do that. What does Reichelt think can be done to correct the situation? He maintains that NPS quote is about tracking how well customers are treated and how loved they feel by the company. Thus, he insists that NPS starts with the company using it, relying on its own internal culture built around loving and serving customers. In other words, leaders of the servicing company should set the example for all employees by making their customers' lives easier and better. Reichelt says a customer-first philosophy has to be at the center of every employee conversation and leader decision. So, ask the NPS question at the best time, he says, as opposed to the easy way out, which involves throwing survey requests left and right, and all you get out of that is a mountain of abstract information. Reichel told us, quote, the best time, quote unquote, to ask the question is when the experience is fresh in the customer's mind and relevant in the employee's mind. And he had a caveat. Be sure that the customer knows that the advice or solution has been proven to work. That is a wrap on today's Research Business Daily Report, not only for today, but for this week. As we mentioned at the start of today's video, we hope you'll become a supporter of ours, what we call an RBDR Patreon supporter, which means agreeing to provide a monthly contribution, usually via a credit card, perhaps 5 to $10 if you're an individual, or $25 or more if you're a business. Both can help us maintain the excellence of this report. And what can we do further to earn your support? Well, maybe not all that much, because we hope that what you're already doing and watching RBDR is gaining a lot of knowledge and insights. So whether you watch us regularly or once in a while, you're getting something from us that you can pass along internally and also externally. So please visit our exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash rbdr where you can select whatever level of support makes you comfortable. And we thank you in advance for whatever that level might be. 
We hope you have a good research day and that this has been a good research week for you. Please enjoy the upcoming weekend, and we will look forward to seeing you back here next Monday. And until then, please stay safe.